start with out cookie then okay. um, so we have started chapter 28 and we're on page 67 so it starts with get it God can we go through here and when you can see it the next line will be for you Anthony okay um, しかし... Kenju? Uh, do, should we do, do, uh, Dama? Uh, what, what, what's it again? Kenju? Do Dama, like a do dama. Bu bullet from a gun. Do Dama o taberare ru nante na. Uh, but she's saying, she, however, um, the bullet the bullet from the bullet from the gun hi okay um and apparently it's actually Can pronounced as don so i i'm apologize for that it's uh, don uh, rather than dama it's not ball that was my fault ju don ju don hi so tabedareru what do you think tabedareru means there's two possibilities um, possibility to eat it Hi, to be able to eat it. However, can it do something like eat a bullet from a gun? Um, I wonder if it gets energy from energy from the gunpowder, as in like that's why it's able to eat um, the bullets. どうしたの? So suddenly they, um, the black hair character freezes and goes, huh, I noticed something. And the other character goes, oh, what's wrong? And they crawled into a hole they saw in the wall that has a bunch of tanks um, in the room. When you can see it, the rest of the lines on this page will go to you. It's about five little uh, bubbles. Sensha. Is it Sensha? Wait, yeah, Sensha. Uh, that's a tank. Sen Senshaga Yeah, so it's saying um, can the um, can the war vehicle um, feel something? That's uh, a really good guess. So, what does Naru mean? Naru is to become. And ki is referred to normally like some kind of like. Yes. Kind of like your soul almost. It's like your aura, like Genki, you're healthy, things like that. So, ki ni naru is actually used to mean to be interested in. So, sencha ga ki ni natta means actually, are you interested in tanks? Uh, um, yeah. Hi, Moni. Just Hello. a quick question about ki ni yeah. naru. Um, is it similar to ki ni aru? Ki ni aru? Yeah, is that to me, does that mean like to like or something? I think people don't say kini aru. I think they say uh, kini naru. You might just not have heard the na. Uh, maybe. I thought we were just saying. Or do you mean ga like kiga atta? Ah, uh, yeah. That that probably means it. That means to get along with somebody. Kiga. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And ki but kiga aru is the same. Is the same. So. <laughs> kiga okay. au is to get along, but kiga aru is to um to have an interest towards something. I see. Thanks. Okay. Uh, kitsui. Kitsui is like saying tough. Yeah. Gambare is like uh, hang in there or do, do your best. Then oh yeah, oh yeah, body soda. Oh. Oh, oh, as as expected. Perfect. Um, and the character looks like he gets off the tank, goes somewhere, and says, "Honda, it's a book." Donna hon, kore wa yomenai. What kind of book is it? I can't read this. And Cookie, the next lines on this page will go to you. Uh. Uh, furui, and it's like, she, wait, toi or, yeah, toi basho no moji da, is that right? Right. Okay, so it's, um, it's old, and it looks like, um, 
what was it? it it looks like letters or words from a far away place hi and uh what is that next to kanji um bunka i think it's culture but i'm not sure actually Ooh, it yeah. is culture different culture i guess bunga you know yep because you know that's not written in japanese the natural concern blah 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 war and humanity um, a lot oh, of the yeah, other I things you'll see English. written on the walls that they can't read is written in Japanese. Like it'll say like electric plant and things like that. Ichiyo um, motteiko, um, which is I'll carry it for the time being. And the next two bubbles will go to Anthony. Ah, eh, yome nai no ni. Datte, datte kicho. Ah, so she's saying in the first bubble, huh? You're not gonna read it? Oh no. Um, then the Yomenai, next... not Yomana. Yom. Yomen. Yomen. Yomenai is like, uh, not reading. <laughs> oh, it, what's it is the, a the... not. So yomu means to read. So yomanai yeah. means will not read. Yome e means we have conjugated the mu into eru form. Yomeru. When you add that uh, so eru, that is potential form to be able to read. Yomeru. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so you're, she's not able to read it. That Are is you true. not able to read it? That is not. So what does no ni mean? No ni is like. It's possessive, um, so it's mm, no. It, so so you're correct like, that right? no can mean possessive, in which case it goes yeah. after a noun. Specifically, it's a way to turn a noun into an adjective. Yomenai, ending with a e sound, is actually a adjective. So it theoretically, has to be yomenano, um, in order for that to be grammatically correct, which you wouldn't do anyway because you don't normally um turn e adjective what like you wouldn't use negative form as an e adjective in that specific way you don't do the drop the e and add no even though you do do that with like aoi with ao no exorcist so cookie do you know what no ni is um even if yeah or only even if. though is what it is even if you uh, read Tada or all those other things. So he says, okay, hey, even though you can't read it, you're going to bring it with you, even though you can't read it. Because the first tutor says, eh, I'll bring this with me anyway. You're going to bring it with <laughs> you, even though you can't read it? And then what's the next uh, line, which is the response of the black character, why she's bringing this book with uh, her? That, that, the, kicho, kicho na mono dashi. It's because it's a very precious and va or valuable thing. It's Perfect. Um, and the next bubble will go to Cookie. Chi-chan, watashi ni wa. And then that's, uh, whoa. Mm, I, I have like not seen that. Yokei, but I could be wrong. Yokei. It is mm. yokei, which is excessive things, like unnecessary. Yokei na mono, um, Hiro Hiro Nate Iukuseni. Okay, um it's like unnecessary things. So our main verb here is Watashi ni wa iu. Okay, are you saying to me that, that is a way you can translate, yes. Watashi ni wa iu means okay. to say to me. Um that is perfect. So then the kuse here, kuse ni, changes the meaning slightly into kuse modifying a moment in the past, saying but it's another way to say even though. So with the watashi ni wa iu kuse ni means even though you always say this, doing habitual form, even though you always oh, tell okay. me, yokei na, ko, yokei na mono wo hiro, hiro na, right? Because we got te for the quote part. So what does Chichan always tell the blonde hair character? To never take along unnecessary things, that's what I'm exactly. guessing. Exactly, yep. Don't take. Don't do that. Yeah. And then she goes, nah! You know, getting her own words thrown back at her. 
Next two lines go to Anthony. Um, Jibumo Hirot and you are Karada Hono Kachi Kachio Shiranai Kara. So the first bubble says Jibumo Hirot and isn't it because uh, didn't we uh, didn't you um, pick it up yourself? Yeah, that, that, that is what she's saying. The context um, here is that you also have picked up a yokei na mono, something that is unnecessarily, which has been dropped from that sentence. So she's continuing to make fun of the black hair character here. Okay, um, you are on no tachiyo shiranai kara. Um, so she's saying, um, you... Um, the value of the ball, you don't, it's, uh, it's because, yes. because you don't know the value of the ball. Exactly. So she's saying, I did not pick up a yokei na mono. She says, uh, yu Tian, the blonde hair character, do, just doesn't yeah. know the value of books. It's not that it's unnecessarily, it's just you don't know how valuable it is. Versus the things that the blonde hair character you picks up are apparently useless. They have no value. Um, next two bubbles for Cookie. Okay. Uenai... Uh, what? Uenai mono ni... Uh, what does that mean? Uh, so, kue is uh, taberu, but specifically more like aggressive. So Like devouring it. Kai. Kue mono. Things to be eaten, but very... To, uh, aggressive. Kue mono. And then that says, uh, uh, Chihane. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I feel like it has something to do with, oh, this thing what? can't. Oh. Katiwane. Or, I think. That would make sense to be wa, but you think I'm I'm not sure about the cup of kana rule. That that would be that would be logical. So we'll translate it as wane for now, because hane doesn't make sense. So there probably is a rule about katakain uh, wa matches the same. But yeah. Yeah, it's kind it of says, a bit weird here. Things that you cannot eat do not have value. Wait. Oh, do not okay. Eat. Yeah. Mono things ni to things that you cannot eat. Kachi value wane there is none because ne is nai um, with e added to it because he said kui. So ku and ne are both masculine um, slurring basically. Like ku hmm. isn't really slurring but it's like a, a character that would slur would use ku as the word to say eat. That's the Yankee yeah. vocab word. <laughs> it's uh, more common than just Yankees, but yeah, that Fair kind enough. of vibe. Nanka, you mita, you mita, no wait, nanka, you mita na koto idashita na. It was like um, it was like what? Um, this you like thing just said something. That is really close. So theoretically, that is possible that, that that could be what the sentence because we don't have the particles here. But most likely, she's saying that oh, it kind of seems like it's spitting out things just like you saying you also talks like this with the ku and the ne. Like she says, oh, that's a very yeah. you-like thing for the nuku to say. Yeah, that's much. that's pretty much the idea I was going for so, too. So. Um, the next two bubbles on this panel down here will go to Anthony. あ、それでユーは何持ってるのあ、は、は、だ。あ、ほう、あ、ほう、だ。あ、ほう、だ。あ、ほう、だ。あ、ほう、だ。あ、ほう、だ。あ、ほう、だ。あ、ほう、だ
And the next two bubbles will go to Cookie. Okay. Uh, neko, neko ni tabe, wait, neko ni tabe sase yo to omote. Ia muri o daro. Muri. Is that right? Muri, okay. Ia muri daro. Um, uh, oh my god, I, I don't know how to put the first bubble together. Okay, so first off, the main character is omoteiruin. What does that mean? It's like he's thinking about yeah, something. Yeah, she's thinking. She has a plan. Her plan is to do volational form. Yo, from do, a do verb. What does volational form mean? Like, tabeyo or iko. It's like, um... Look, I don't know how to describe it. I, I've seen it in situations. It means I just don't I'm know going how to, to do something. For example, yes. a girl will say, I'm going to the bathroom to a bunch of girls, and it will insinuate that the girls can join them, perhaps. But it literally just means, I am planning on doing this action. So we have two, I am planning on doing this action, the motte and the yo. The thing mm -hmm. she's planning Isn't it on... Like, yeah? like isn't it like inviting someone? It that, is inviting that, someone the same way a woman at a table saying, I'm going to the bathroom, is inviting the other woman to go to the bathroom. And in itself is not an invitation unless it's said out loud in a context in which it means an invitation. It is exactly the same as I'm going to. Nice. Fair enough. Um, but when you learn it in a dictionary, they will say it's an invitation. Because if you're going to hear someone say it to you, it's probably an invitation. And they want to make sure you get that subtext. But um, in this yeah. context, it is not an invitation as we're reading a book and not talking to like a friend or something like that. Um, and here he says omote to make it more obvious. She's not saying, hey, let's go do this together. She's saying, I was thinking, I'm going to do this. It just means I'm going to. Um, if you write like, what are you going to do the next day tomorrow, you will a lot of times use yo rather than tsumori. Because tsumori is very aggressive for planning on doing things. If you use tsumori, it feels like you made an itinerary. Like, okay, right when I get in the morning, eat breakfast, do this, blah, 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 blah. Versus yo is more like, I'm going to go to the park tomorrow. That's what I'm planning. That's on my to-do list. So it's a, it's a less aggressive, basically, more natural way of saying I'm going to do something. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, anyway. So now that I have that information, I think it means, um, I think I'm going to make this cat eat it. Yeah. In, in this case, the giant bullet. I was bullet. thinking I was going to go make this cat eat it. <laughs> eat the yeah. bullet. Oof. And he's like, no, that's impossible. Hi. And then what is the little thing written here? Oh, God. Um, I think that's, uh, steru. Uh, steru. Yeah. Um. It came chutero. So a slightly different conjugation. Uh, dump it, get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. It's an order. Hi. Oh, oh, niju mirin nonda. Bajika! It's like, oh, it ate the 20 milliliter. Really? And the next two um, bubbles go to um, Anthony. Okay, uh, sige, mecha goku natta. Nui. Amari. Ijimeru na yo. Um, so, suke me mecha oboku. Omoku. From omoku. That's great. He, he's mo he, he mm. moved. He moved. Ugoku, which he did kind of read. I wasn't sure if he did. Ugoku does mean to move. The kanji there, though, is omoi, which was then put into um, omoku, which is um, an adverb, right? You wouldn't turn the verb ugoku and add naru to that. You'd have to conjugate ugoku into te form to um. say ogotte naru, which you don't actually do because naru doesn't really go with verbs like that. Instead, you'd use kudu. But um, that'd be the basic I, grammar I, idea. So this is actually a e adjective, omoi. Uh, okay. Uh, so it's saying like, uh, wow, that's great. Uh, it be became so heavy. Perfect. It became... See, then Nui is like the uh, kind of like Pokemon thing or right? cause name Nui. Then Amari Ijimena Ijimeru Nayo, saying like don't bully the don't bully it. Perfect. Too oh, much. Don't bully it so much. Tis tis tis. 
Um, next bubble goes to Cookie. We got the blonde character talking. Ah, uh, I, I, I can kind of tell what the kanji uh, is, how the kanji is read when it's put together with other it's kanji, also but. Done. I, yeah, I done swear or... it's Tama, but I could be wrong. It is, it is oh, Tama. Okay. Tama no taberare no mo. We just had this one. Uh, Bunka. Bunka no chiga. Chiga yatsu. I think yatsu means a, a, a thing or a guy. <laughs> yatsu can mean a thing or a guy. In this context, it is thing. The thing is bunka. Yeah. So this no right here might also be what's confusing. This no is the same as yatsu, which is the same as bunka, in which they're all the which no and yatsu are both pronouns being used to fill in the blank. The main difference is that no tends to show up with um, a particle after it, while yatsu tends to show up at the end of the sentence, um, as far as like mm. using one or the other. Um, and yatsu is more colloquial, like talky. Um, so so I'm we have pronoun huh? no right here. So what does this say? Tama o taberu no. Taberu no. So it's like to be able to eat things, uh, bullets? Yeah, to be able to eat bullets is that part. And then we have no, which is the one or the thing. So the thing of mm. being able to be bullets also is bunka no chigai. Um, chigatte. I think bunka means words or phrases. And Not then... really. Bunka is culture. Oh, oh yeah, culture. Um... Like a sort of different culture, what? Yeah, so being able to eat bullets, is that also that thing of a, what's it called, a uh, difference of culture? Different culture. That's what yeah. the blonde character is saying. Because whenever, whenever the, these chapters are all basically they have a conversation about the meaning of a word. That's the point of every single um, chapter. Mm. So this chapter right here seems like the talking point is going to be culture. What does culture mean? So she said, oh, this book right here is a different culture because it's written in a certain text than the text we see everywhere else. And she can't read it at all. That was the English textbook about the art of war that they saw in the last three pages. So the other character is taking that information and is like, oh, so the way how you're unable to read that book, is that the same thing as having, be as you know, being able to read a book and not being able to read a book as two different cultures is being able to eat a bullet and not being able to bullet also an example of two different cultures? And the answer is bunka tiyuka seitai dana, which is saying rather than saying it's a difference between cultures, that is an example of a difference between living creatures. So a culture difference is r difference in writing, while a creature difference is a difference in what you would eat. Right? Possibly. Possibly. Oh, be, being able to, I guess like uh, if you get, talk about allergies and it gets even more complicated, eh? Be like, oh, is that a, not really a different creature if you can't eat shellfish? Um, but that's the point of this. The point of this is that the black hair character explains a vocab word to the blonde hair character in a jokingly kind of like, they have no idea what the heck and who they're talking about. Um, mm. So anyway, the next line goes to Anthony. Uh, to you know, uh, boom, moji? Hi, moji. Moji to ka, kotoba to ka, ningen no shu dan, shu dan doji, 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 no, chigai da yo. Um, it's saying, um, the thing that you called culture, um, right. The letters, the words, uh, the language, um, the people, the the people's um, 
group fellow groups fellow mutual fellow citizens no fellow humans it's the ah uh, yeah the diff it's it's the difference between the um fellow human groups group groups of humans the culture is the def different so what you call the difference of um the fellow groups Hi. the the differences between groups of humans such as with their yeah. way they talk and the characters that is what culture is and okay. <laughs> next line goes to cookie okay so uh, um again in yeah so again in the uh oh Arasoi my god it means um fighting like senso uh so ni natari mo Shitarashi. Um, hmm. So the Chigao points a bunka. That is what the sore is referring to. Yeah, I'm, I think they want to talk about how, like the general gist, they want to talk about how things like fights and wars start because of differences in culture. Yes. Uh, yes. What was confusing but, you? Um. Uh, so it goes um, and then it's like natari mo shitarashi. The the bit at the end. I'm like, right. How does that work? So right here, I think what confused you, you thought it was tara, but it's just shita to do. So whenever you end with tari, oh. you got tari suru, and we added mo to mean even. So they would even yeah. do things like start war. Then we have rashi for um, it. It seems like. So it seems like they would yeah. even do that. So it's just a, I think you really thought it was tada would be my guess, which is that if. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Awesome. Hmm, at all. Hmm, I wonder why they would do that. And then Anthony, next bubble for you. Okay, yoku wakanai. Yoku wakanai mono wa kawaii kara. It's because, um, the thing that you don't know is really scary. Right. Toka and... Mm. Toka is like, uh, in this context, is more like something like that. But you're right, it doesn't uh, normally mean and and etc. But here it's kind of like a kana coming after the kara. Uh, Just kara kana, uh, you can't say that, so you can say kara toka. That, that's why it's like separated like that. It's just to show her like, I, I guess that's why they do it. She doesn't really know either. Like, she, she just knows this from like reading books or something um so actually just this one bubble will go to cookie でも、ちいちゃんは分からないことを言えるのが好きだったりするじゃん um, but as for you ちいちゃん um, the things that you don't understand and then it's like, oh, shiru no, that shiru you... Shiru no ga suki. Yeah. But you... <laughs> and the things that you know and like, um... Good guess. So, I'm not sure. shiru is a verb. What does shiru mean? I'd say it's to know. To know. Then we have o, Damn. right? Shi, o shiru. So that is marking the things you know. You can also use to with shiru, which would be used for a direct quotation. But we're not using a direct quotation. We have koto here, which is for a general statement. Wakaranai koto o. So to know things you do not know. So this literally says to like to know about things you do not know. Oh my god. <laughs> that makes sense. Um... Yeah, it's like yeah, you'd want to thing. go to the extent to not to like to know things that you don't know. Yeah, and this is actually if you the way I translate with things kind of just shows how that no there is probably just pronoun no and not like a different grammar thing. I need to get used to that more. Like things that you can know about things. Like, mm -hmm. Oops, what I click? Um, boop. Zoom out, so rude. And then it says 
um, Hono Yondari, which is uh, like a toka right there. Like, so the character is still talking, saying, you know, like you like reading books. And then it says, this right here is one line, Anthony. So let's go read that. Okay. Um, da kara koso omae mitai ni yoku wa karanae abuna so na mono ni chikatsu kanai da yo. Ah, so it's saying. That's why um, someone like you, uh, so, so similar people like you, uh, uh, please don't go near the things that you don't that you don't know that are Perfect. really dang- that are a bit dangerous. Yep. It says, people like you really should not go uh, toward things that look dangerous and they do not know anything about. So she's basically saying um, uh, she wants to read things to know more about stuff that she's scared about, I guess. But it is kind of like, that's exactly why you should not um, get close to things you don't know. Um, Cookie, your turn. Toyuka, I think that means, um, so to say. It is kind of means for that, Toyuka. Um, it's, it's a way to say anyway. Yeah, okay, now I remember. So, anyway, uh, that's, that's it. so our surroundings, um, or the things in our surroundings that we only the Hi. thing, right? Yeah, only the things around us that we don't understand well or can't understand very well. Perfect. So, around us, yeah. there's only things we do not understand, or literally, hmm. it says. Um, there's n- nothing except for things we do not understand around us. Mm-hmm. So, perfect. Ah, Toshkani. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. And then we have a little, like, panel of some weird-ass thing hanging from the ceiling. Um, Kiri ga koi na. Which is, um, the, f- the mist is quite thick. Oh, hora, mata. It's like, oh, look, it's there again. Which is a yoku wakaranai monoga. Which is a strange thing has appeared, basically. That they see um, in front of them. Um, so, um, next three lines go to Cookie. So it's, um, this, it's making a little sound, it's going ki. Maybe it's uh, the gears turning. Um, Choto zutsu. Wait, so it's like it's moving a little bit. Um, so it's like, um, is it moving because of the wind? Wait, <laughs> it's interesting. Hi, so I think you don't know what jutsu means, do you? No. So jutsu, uh, chotto jutsu um, is used to modify things like uh, skoshi jutsu, things like that. It means like bit by bit. So it's saying it's moving a little bit, bit by bit. Um, kind of like how you would pick your gears move, go bump, 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 bump. Like it kind of has that like pause in between things. Kind of has that yeah. jutsu idea. Rather than a constant slow moving, there's a jarring kind of action to it. There. Um, the rest of these lines on this page will go to Anthony. Uh, I feel what bubbles are. Uh, all of them, you're right. Uh, I thought these were pretty easy. Okay, uh, so, 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 so right now, uh, now there's um, 
You, you said something really interesting. Ah, close. Ah. Right there we got ah. te, not o. Te is for direct quotes. Ima, you just said ah. omoshiroi. Ah, ima omoshiroi te. Ah, you just said omoshiroi. Ah, ah, it's like, huh? Oh, oh, ah, it's oh, then. The next one is so shite mata yoko wakanai utaga. Um, so shite mata means like, and then again, um, there's this song, there's this song or um, uh, singing that I don't know that well. Hi. And the, the nukuku says ita, which means ah, her repeating oh, no. said, do you know what the. Kono uta suki means? Uh, I, I like this so song. Perfect. Sing. Kono uta suki. Suki to ka arunda ne? Nuko. So, oh, so you, so you have the ability to like things, huh, Nuku? Next two bubbles is for cookie. Uh, I think it's. Is that a ma or a mu? I always uh, mix those two words. むこうむこうむこうのほうからいこえてくるあ、むしろ、ですしょ、ビーズよりかなんじ。いや、わたざむこうみんなむこう。むこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこうむこう
for reasons to go or to not go. And the next yeah. two bubbles go to Anthony. Okay, Kachi Makeja Naikara. It's not because of winning or losing. Um, demo Angai. Demo Angai. You mitai na. You mitai na. No. Ga bunka o tsukut. Tekita no kamone. Okay, uh, so demo angai. Angai you. But it's unexpected. Um, you mitai na no. Ga. You mitai. Uh, bunka o tsukut tekita no kamone. It seems similar to you. Use culture. It feels it. Perhaps it's something similar to use culture. What then, does tsukuta, um, bunka o tsukuta mean? Bunka o tsukuta is create the culture. Hi. Kita so is okay. no kamo. Uh, so no kamo means perhaps it's built a culture. Perhaps it something will. like a thing, one like you, unexpectedly, one like you ha perhaps has created a culture. Um, uh, which is kind of a nonsensical sentence. Um, okay, next bubble goes to Cookie. Oh, Buddha Sagaru. Wait, Buddha Sagaru no. It's fun to hang on this. Hi, hi. And next part is for Anthony. Uh, uh, it's saying, um, don't break it. Um, it's probably, um, it's Maybe because um they, it's left there for a reason. Uh, Not really, like <laughs> for a reason. Like like Sekaku does mean for it, but it's like it's, it's been, because people have left it alone. I guess for uh, for a reason. Like it's been left alone all this time. Uh, you should not break it. Like don't.